These are the actual magazines that are up for sale. And you can see we have 1970 is here. And there's quite a... How many are in the group? I don't know. You can check that out later. But there is the 1970s. And over here is 1971. And you can sort of see what's there. Yeah. It's a lot of reading and they're all in pretty good shape. And then we have 1972. And you can sort of see these. It's a lot of fun if you're into modeling. To read some of the articles and what, some of the layouts they've done. So that's 1972, 1970, 74. Yeah. It's amazing what you can do. And then we have 1977. It looks pretty much complete. It's quite a little pile. But there they all are. It's a lot of magazines. Keep you busy forever. I don't really expect to get them all in on this video just to sort of give you an idea what's here. And that's that. And then we have these. This is 1978. Let's move these down a bit. There you go. Yeah, a lot of steam. Of course, Lionel being one of the biggest producers. And then we have 1979. Well, Gonna mess these all up. Oops. Then of course 1980, which is here. Yes. Okay, that's 1980. 1969 is here. A lot of magazines. And anyways, we won't try to do them all. There's 1968. 1967 and then we have some of the magazines here that are actually open then we have here this is 1966 and then over here 1965 And then this is 1964. Yeah, things are getting a little older here. And 1962. And then over here, 1947. These are amazing. Yeah. 
Ja. I assume these would be the cream of the crop. It makes them almost 80 years old. If my math is right. And then these were newsletters. I don't know if you've ever seen them, but there they are. And they're actually look like that. Okay, anyways, that's what it all looks like. Now that I've made a mess, someone's going to have to clean it up. Thank you very much.